Hi my friends, today we model this part with the name thin lid which is uh, like a sheet metal part but since we don't uh, unfold we cannot unfold this we'll uh, create as a revolution body. Dimensions are here. You see a sketch with a section because there are many dimensions. We respect all dimensions to create the external contour up to here yes then we apply offset in the sketch considering 3.5 as the general thickness there is a cut here at 200 and some holes that's all let's start Standard millimeters IPT, not sheet metal. XY plane. And we draw a center line from the center point down at Disable center line. Now we have an image of uh, our uh, construction. You see, we have a uh, coordinates of this center one hundred and forty. 100. We also have the center of another uh, arc and uh, we create two circles 45 188 radius 28 and the other with radius 30 then we connect them with uh, lines circle radius you see radius not diameter of 28 and another one with radius 30 and then we place coordinates this is 188 on 45 the other is 140 with 100 good then we start a new line from the level bottom level up radius keep pressed the left button then to the right now I place on the same horizontal these two points and I want to see if this is tangent to both ends 
here it is not. So we apply this to dimensions are 56 diameter radius 13 distance of 30 here radius of 18 and only one uh, dimension it is this dimension of 130 dimension of this last arc 130 good fully constrained till now we continue here with the vertical keep press the left button and a tangent with tangent at both ends this is a circle with radius 23 23 one dimension needed which is 90 from this center to the, the center point 90 fully constrained we continue with a line starting from this point up keep pressed left button turn around and go somewhere here escape then we draw a new line from the right to the left and keeping pressed the left button we go to this point we make tangent this arc to this line and coincident the line to the center point dimensions from the end of this line to the center line is 425 then uh, this point to here is 30 144 the the other point is 296 this radius is 15 and this distance is 10 Now we have a fully constrained sketch. We trim these two arcs. We are still fully constrained, of course. And we apply offset of 3.5 to the inside. 3.5. We connect the ends
and now we have a close contour and an axis to apply revolve okay this is the main volume of this part now as you can see there is a cut here his dimension is uh, 200 from the center so that we apply split the tool split by creating this plane a new plane based on this to the left or to the right of 200 then split this is the tool the cutter and we select which is to be cut it not this direction but this okay the plane has hidden good now we have to place holes as you can see there are eight holes of uh, 14 around uh, this circle of 394 and uh, four holes of nine with this diameter eight and four this is placed at 22.5 degrees let's do this this plane is uh, for the new sketch a line from the center to 394 divided by 2 then we place we project the vertical axis which is Z to apply 22.5 point at the end of this uh, line and circular pattern for that point only the center is here the number is 8 ok finished sketch hole through at 14 then we can select the same plane why not this we draw a line from the center up vertical to somewhere here dimension is 320 divided by 2 we have a fully constrained sketch without any angle point at the end circular pattern for this point about this center or axis four instances not six finish sketch no matter that we have points up from the plane because the holes are through hold diameter of 9 and through ok 
the last thing to do is to apply this to fillets of 3.5. This fillet 3.5 on both edges. Okay, now let's see the volume. Eye properties, physical update, copy, close drawing, double click, paste. How we see exactly the same value. Okay, now material which is uh, still carbon, steel carbon, and we can apply shade it to see the difference between these two nothing of course that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye